<sighs> Long overdue. Here we are again. <sighs> that was good. Nice. What up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And today we're gonna be going over my everyday carry. Really even start. I got holes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas cross the street living large. Thinking back to the fact that they dead on my raps for the facts that they sat with the bars. I got two phones, one need a charge. Get yeah, twins, I can tell they have support. I got big packs coming on. You guys have been wanting me to give you an updated list of what I use on the daily for all my shoots, all my video work. Whatever I, whatever I use to edit. So today, this video is gonna be just that. I'm gonna be going over everything that I use on a day-to-day -day basis from the down gritty to just the little things. So let's jump right in. So I'm filming on it right now, but my go-to camera body is the A7S III. This has not changed. It might change in the near future. There's a lot of new bodies coming out and I think I'm due for a upgrade. But I've been using the Sony A7S III since this came out. I wasn't able to get the first order on it. So I had to wait till they restock and then I was able to get that order. I've been using this camera for so long. It's still on par with just every other body. It's quality, what it's been able to produce for me. And it's just, it's taking a beating, honestly. So that's been my main camera and body uh, going to. And then also with the body, I'm shooting on a 2470 millimeter 2.8 that is my go-to lens that is literally the overall all-around lens that i use for everything my wide shots my tight shots if i'm just running gunning i'm just using a straight 24 to 70. if you guys see any of the content that i sh any of the content that i shoot for russell it's with that body third thing on the list is this mic right here so kind of slowly been transitioning from the rode mic pro plus still have been using it but We've been using a lot more of these wireless go twos um, from Rode. These are a lavalier kind of like cube square mic um, that you can just literally clip on. Once you clip on, you can just go about your day, talk, and the range on this is significant i can literally be across the gym shooting russell shooting a client still getting amazing audio from them there's no lag there's no cutoff whatsoever the mics are just overall good and it's been my go-to mic setup with my camera setup so sony a6400 this has been my second body and it's kind of been a body that i vlog and kind of like film my bts on i'll literally just mount this up on a tripod and then i'll have my 14 millimeter on this just kind of shooting everything wide and then i'll just crop or closing or whatever i'm going to be using for bts but this has been my second body and my a nice addition to my everyday carry with running and gunning we got to be quick on the edits i've been using the macbook pro 16 inch m1 chip and that's been my main go-to for editing and that's literally how i get all my content out like Within the day, uh, we'll be shooting something in the gym. As soon as we're done shooting, I'll already go into the lounge, rack up my SD card in there, and then just make a quick edit just to turn something quick for today. This is a great workhorse. It handles a lot of my 4K files, and it's just an overall good and reliable laptop to edit on. If you're gonna be shooting, you're gonna need storage. SD card, every day, cannot live without it. If I Forget my SD cards, I'm I'm losing my shit. This is a 128 gigabyte, and they've honestly have done them really, really cheap over the years, which is really, really good. So I ended up buying a bunch of these, especially with my Sony A7S III being able to shoot 4K 120. I gotta make sure that it's a V90 card also. So yeah, I do not leave home without those, and those are the sanity to my whole existence. So AirPods Pro. So with editing, you're gonna need something noise canceling to just lock in and edit. So I recently picked this up back in December and these have been an amazing pair of headphones um, thus far. No complaints whatsoever from me. These are usually my main go-tos for just overall audio whenever I'm editing. Um, they sound good. Um, there's no real lag between this being wireless and my uh, MacBook. These headphones are honestly, the, you, can't, you can't beat them. The build on them are, is insane. And also the battery life. I can literally go a week editing with these and no need to actually charge them so the battery life on these is actually pretty pretty amazing so and these are actually my gym headphones too so overall like i use these so fucking much this here has been a recent pickup of mine this is basically a tripod um and a stick very very small so i can place this anywhere i've taken this to the gym 
I've taken this with me on shoots and it's small to where like it doesn't have a big dent on my camera bag to where I can literally just mount this up, throw my phone on it and then I can just have quick and easy access to some BTS footage for me to just post on my story or just make a quick reel out of it. Peak Design 30 liter camera bag has been my everyday carry. It's big enough to where I carry all my lenses, all my bodies, everything that I need for the day. I still have a good amount of space just to add extra stuff. So I've had this camera bag for the past, I want to say like two years, and I've taken that camera bag throughout the whole nation. It's It's been through a lot. Now, personally, if you know me, not even just the fact that it's an energy drink, just caffeine overall. Caffeine is one of my most uses throughout the day, whether it's through an energy drink or coffee. Um, um, I basically just about take it every day. Uh, so that is another of my everyday carries. And it is another thing that I just can't overall live without, so. So this is literally the true definition of a beer. I've worn these shoes through so fucking much. It's insane. I've, I've, it's been to meets, it's been across the world, it's been to Puerto Rico with me, um, and it's held up pretty bad. I mean, there is some, like you can see here, I need to send this off to someone and just get it fixed. Um, but this shoe is my overall favorite shoe just because it's a white shoe. It's a pure white uh, Jordan 3s. And um, this basically goes with any of my fits. Um, I'll throw white socks on, I'll throw this on, throw some shorts, oversized tee. That's basically my go-to fit for anything or an oversized hoodie. Um, but this is <laughs> a essential everyday carry of mine um and it's funny because i always joke about about it with mel how no matter what type of like wear i'm gonna be uh no matter what type of like fit i'm throwing on like these have been a staple in that so um yeah they're in need of an upgrade um and i need someone to fix them up maybe i'll hit up fc40 FC 140 or 150. No, FC 150, yeah. Maybe, maybe he'll be interested in giving these a little revive. But yeah, I'm not gonna get rid of these at all whatsoever. This is, these just, I have an emotional bond to this shoe. This is the iPhone 14 Pro. I do a lot of editing. I do a lot of just, you know, shooting with my phone. Um, I do just about everything. Check my emails check my socials, post. Everything that you guys see is mostly from my phone, 95% of it. Um, so this, need this. Everyday carry, your phone, essential. Um, if anyone tells me otherwise, you're capping. Pretty much it, that's literally my everyday carry. Um, that's everything that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. If I miss something, I will have it on my next everyday carry video. Yeah, from a day-to-day, -day, that is just everything that I use to not only produce the content that you guys see on the day, but it's just how I move around from day-to-day, -day, so. If you're new, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. If you guys do, catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.